So I think everyone heard that. Uh, as, as, if we did, uh, essentially the question was, how, how do you know when you're done? And, and then letting it go. I, I one time, my first play, when, before it was produced, I remember Urjo Correta, who was then the uh, artistic director at the Tarragon, he was like, where's your play? And I said, it's here. And he said, can I have it? And I <laughs> held it out to him, and he took hold of it, and he said, okay, thank you. And I wouldn't let it go. And I couldn't make myself let it go. And he was like, give me your play. And I was like, I, I'm giving you my play. And we just like stood there for a while like this. I find it very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know that um, it's hard for me to kind of feel like a, a I haven't, uh, you know, produced enough plays to say that I like the feeling of giving it away all the time. Uh, um, but I do know um, that sometimes I can't look at the play again. I'm like, I can't look at that. So I kind of feel like then it's done if I just can't even, <laughs> I can't even look at it. Like there's, I'm like, can't even open the, the thing. So it's done. It's finished. I've done all I can do with it. I have never read a play of mine. Um, I can only work on it, but I can't read it or look back on it or uh, any of it. Um, so, but I, I've had sort of both experiences. Like in rehearsal, I work really quickly and um, changes, I mean, I have to be stopped sometimes from changes. But once the actors have it, I realize I'm no longer part of this process and I, I shouldn't even be here. I'm thrilled that they got it, but I, don't, I just don't want to listen anymore. Um, but there have been times, I actually once canceled a production because I wasn't there for, for the rehearsals until the very end and, and I said, you're not doing, this is not my play. So either you do it the way it was written or this is not going on. Um, and maybe that was being o overly possessive, but I don't think so. Um, and I've done, I mean, the worst I've, ever, I've done was I had a show in New York, and two days before opening, um, I completely rewrote Act Two. Now, m most directors would agree that that's uh, a justifiable homicide to have shot me on the spot. But they realized it was actually better, and they, the actors learned it in the two days, and they did it in the work. Wow. But, and I don't even, maybe that wasn't worrying about letting it go. It's just once you're watching it and you go, no, that's not working, you don't want to come back the next day and see that that thing is not working because of the way you wrote it. Um, I think there's also a point where it becomes like you live with something, ugh, you live with something in your mind, and it's, inside you and then it becomes when it becomes external to you you can no longer write it anymore like I always feel like there's a point where I could not rewrite anything because it is no longer it doesn't have any life inside me it's just become yeah, that's separate a, that's a dead giveaway yeah. but also I mean conversely it's easier to keep rewriting the same play than it is to start a new one <laughs> <laughs>